Here we have 1 and 2 thirds. I like to say these fractions out loud. 1 and 2 thirds. You've got one whole number and 2 thirds of another number. And we're thinking about them as whole groups of whole numbers, but also you can think about them, rearrange them, and think about them as individual thirds laid out by themselves. You've got five of them. When you think of it like this, you've got five thirds. And when you think about this number, one and two thirds. Exactly the same number, exactly the same idea, just a slightly different way of thinking about them. So how do you convert from one and two thirds into the number of thirds? Well, each whole, we're dealing with thirds, so each whole has three, and then there's two left over on the end. So down here we can see, writing it mathematically, we've got one lot of three from the whole, plus the extra two, three plus two, is five, five thirds. There they are laying out individually, and there they are as in groups of whole numbers. So imagine that you have got two and one fifth. Two and one fifth, if you are going to lay them out you see that you've got two, lo two lots of five from the first circle, two lots of five from the second circle, and then one left over. So there they are, one lot of five, two lots of five, so there's the two lots of five, plus the one left over. One lot of five, two lots of five, plus one left over. Writing that mathematically, two lots of five, plus one, 10 plus one, 11, and they're all over 5, 11 fifths. Laid out, rearranged.